So for those of you that don't know that I've actually started a new vlog, I'm actually vlogging now while filming this video. <laughs> so I will put a link in the cards for you, um, obviously to you know introduce you to my new vlog that, that I've got. So it's kind of weird, I'm talking to like both, so I'm talking to obviously my Disney Shrine channel and also my vlog channel. So, so go check that out. This week I'm actually doing a Primark haul. This is obviously um, similar to the other one I did where I did the clothes and that one. Whereas this one is just um, everything has like accessories, other Disney stuff that you can actually get in Primark. So hello everyone and welcome to the Disney Shrine. So as you saw on the intro, um, this is actually going to be a Primark one. So these are things that I've actually had over the last couple of weeks where it's just Disney things that Primark do. Um, but like I'm not doing the clothes this time because obviously I did the clothes on my last one. There is another clothes one coming up in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, but this one's just like everything else that is uh, Disney that you can get in Primark. And also, if you're wondering where I got my ears from, I did actually do a video on um, all my new ears. There's a company called The Wish and Star Studio and uh, she made all my ears for me. So that's in another video that I did. So if you'd like to go watch that one as well. Right, let's get into this. So the first thing I'm going to pull out is this one here. I'm not sure this is fairly new because I've not actually seen it before. So um, all the things in here I've not actually opened yet. I've been waiting to do this video so I can actually open everything. So, so I'm a little bit behind in obviously using any of this. But I just thought this one was so cute. So I got this one for £6 in the Primark store. So I actually got this from the Bournemouth store. And it just shows on there what the actual um, fleece looks like. So I've got quite a lot of fleeces. Um, this is probably the wrong time of year to buy them because um, at the moment it's April. Though it is well, I'm sort of semi-cold, but it is starting to get a little bit warmer as the days goes on. And I think this is probably the wrong time to buy a fleece, but I have like so many fleeces. I've got them on my bed, I've got a few down here, I've got loads in the front room. So I just thought, well, what's one more? <laughs> Failing that, I could always just put it in my car. So yeah, so that's the 100 Dalmatians one. So the next one, I was actually really excited to get. I didn't realise you could actually use this one because I was actually going to buy this one thinking it was just an ornament and then when I was in the queue the lady's like no no this actually is is a real functioning clock so it's this one here which is the Clogsworth clock so he is £10 so he actually, um, you put batteries in and his nose actually goes around. So I've been I've been waiting so long to do this video just so that I can obviously um, like talk about it and then actually get him out the box and use him. But let me just check. Um, I should say, oh, so it just takes normal AA batteries, so normal standard ones. But I just think it was so cute. Obviously I've not used it, so I don't know how loud the ticking is or um, whether it's like a smooth tick or whether it's obviously one of those kind of tick. I don't know my clocks to know uh, ticking forms. But yeah, no, I just thought that was really cute. So that's definitely one I will put in the front room. Because at the moment we don't actually have a clock in the front room. We've got a clock in the kitchen, but you kind of got to like look for it. So it'd be nice to have this on display. So even if like it runs out of battery, it'd be nice to have it as a display anyway. Maybe I could try and have him in my wedding because obviously it's beautiful to be since I had a wedding. So maybe I can just try and like hide him somewhere, maybe. <laughs> So the next one, oh, okay, so um, they had similar things like this last year, so I will do another video when it actually comes to summer, because um, some of the things from last year I did notice they brought back, but this particular one, I don't know if they did have last year, or like I missed it, or whether it's actually new for this year, but I just thought they were so cute. So it's these ones here, so they're called, um, oh, I have it upside down, they're just four Mickey Mouse bowls, um, oh no, Minnie Mouse, I, I apologise, Minnie Mouse bowls, because I just noticed they've got a bow on them. So it comes in different colours, so you've got pink, purple, orange and yellow it looks like. So it's just these ones here, like I said, last year they had other things where they had um, like cups or their plates, things like that, which I did actually buy, so like I said, I'll do another video on that at a later stage. So these ones, they cost £5, which I thought wasn't bad. I just thought they were really cute, so I just thought, even if I didn't use them for summer, for example, going outside, I just thought just in case someone comes round or, you know, like even at Christmas you could do, just like put like little uh, like sweets in there or like some nuts or some crisps, I just thought that was just very cute 
just to have around the house anyway or even you can use it for like putting your jewelry in so for example put like rings and stuff like that in so it doesn't necessarily have to be for food because they are just bowls at the end of the day so you could actually just use them for anything right so next um i actually got these well ruben actually bought these for me a while ago to the point where i actually forgot he bought me them and i almost bought them again and he's like babe i already got you these i'm like Ah, that might be in my Primark bag, ready to be filmed. So I'll get them both out for you. So it's these two here. So it's from the Marie collection. So recently they've started doing more Marie stuff. And I just thought they were so cute. So I do the mug first. So that's the mug there. Obviously I've not, not used it. This is the thing that I was going to buy again because I, I was at the checkout buying more stuff. And I saw it and I was like, oh, that's really cute. And he's like, babe, I already got it for you. Why have you not used it yet? And I was like, sorry. <laughs> so this is six pounds. This one is. It does feel quite heavy, which I quite like because on the basis that uh, I kind of feel like it's a bit more sturdy. So obviously if you put it down somewhere, uh, I feel like it's not going to knock over if you accidentally sort of move around, that kind of thing. Um, I feel like you can only drink from the back of it because on the front of it there is where her bow is. So I feel like you always have to have it like, which isn't a bad thing, but you always got to have her facing outwards rather than her facing towards you. Like I said, I've not used it yet to know obviously how the handle works. I will be doing a Disney mug. Uh, video soon because I've got so many mugs either from Primark, Disney Store, places like that so I will be doing a mug one uh, at some point so obviously I will tell you a bit more about that in that video so that is the Marie mug and then to go with that is a little trinket dish that's sort of so cute so it's just got like Marie just sat in the middle there and the dish is obviously just around it so you can put obviously uh, jewellery on there you can just input your keys on there I just thought that was so cute I'm not sure for example with her ears if you could put like rings or something on her ears so they can hang but I just thought it was really cute even if I didn't really use it for a lot you can even put stuff like candles or potpourri you can even put things like that on there so you don't have to use it say for um, jewellery you know there are other things you can also use it for so she only cost me £5 or should I say cost Reuben £5 but I just thought that was really cute so like I said so that's for the, the Marie section Oh, so the last one, I was so happy to find this one because I saw this on Facebook. So I've mentioned before in other videos, I think in my last Primark one, I did actually mention that on Facebook they do actually have certain groups that if you can't get to a Primark or for example if your Primark is too small it doesn't do everything, there are girls on there that will obviously go out and um, and get things for you. You just pay obviously uh, the price it was and a little bit extra like PMP, that kind of thing. It's not their job to do it, they just do it so that other people can obviously get the items. So I did actually see this on um, one of the Facebook groups saying, oh my god, new in stock and I was like, I need to get it. Luckily, when I was in the Bournemouth one last week, I found it! So this one, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, I don't know if I'm even going to use it. So this one is a 10 hanging photo clip set. So it's obviously got, it's a little mermaid, so it's got um, Ursula, it's got a little shell on there, Sebastian, Ariel and Flounder. So, and then underneath, it also has other ones as well. So I can't, it looks like... Oh, it looks like they're the same. I can't quite see because the way it is, without getting it out, I can't quite see, but it looks like it's the same. So I guess it's just like a string, and then you just hand things on it, and I was like, it's so cute. I'm not sure, I do want to use it, but I'm just not sure where or like what to use it for. Uh, it might be one of those things that I might just put like um, a string of lights on it, but, but yeah, not sure yet. So that was only £4, so I thought that was quite cute for £4. Only thing I did notice when I picked this one up, there were a few that actually had these broken. Um, I do think that they're just glued on, so if you do find any, oops, sorry, just slipping there. So if you do find any there that are broken, you could probably just glue them back on but I just picked this up and then the one behind I noticed was broken so I just feel like you could just you know like I said like glue it back on but for the sake of the video I want a one that was obviously nice so I could show you guys so because I wanted to show you in the packet ah and I think that is it there are some other things in here but because they're clothes that is for another video so I'm just gonna have to put that to one side <laughs> 
yeah, and then come back to that another day. So that is everything for my Primark uh, Disney accessories uh, video. If you want to see my last Primark haul, which is just closed, um, I'll put the link down below as well for that one. Like I said, I am going to do another one next couple of weeks because I've got so many clothes that I just need to obviously um, do another video for as well. So if you like these kind of videos then please give me a thumbs up so I know that you like the haul ones. Uh, like I said I'm also doing a vlog as well so please check that out. It's on this same channel, it's just under Kimmy's vlog playlist. Uh, I don't want to confuse you guys with having two channels. So I thought if I did it all in one channel then hopefully you either like my vlogs which is obviously behind the scenes of my life and obviously filming and things like that. Got my cats in there, got my friends, got Ruben in there so, uh, so please check that out and give the, the videos a thumbs up if you like those kind of ones as well. Uh, and then obviously uh, the normal ones where it's obviously when I do uh, a haul or what I do about my shrine. So if there's anything you want to see from my shrine then please let me know. I do have a few ideas as to things like items I want to do for my shrine. But if there's anything particular that you want to see then please write in the comment section. So I know, you know, to put that maybe top of the list so I can obviously do those for you first. If you know of any other Disney fans that like these kind of videos then please share this. I'd be so grateful if you could share this. Going on to the competition. Um, I've just done my 100 subscribers competition, so now I'm on to my 200 subscribers competition now. So if you're new to my channel, um, all you have to do is to uh, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel, and then head over to my Fancy Arts Facebook page and like that, and then go to my Instagram and follow me, and I'll follow you back. So all you have to do is, once you've done that, is to write in the comment section that you've done that. I'll then enter you into the competitions. Like I said, when I get to 200 subscribers, I'll pick three of you at random and you get to pick any picture you want, doesn't have to be a Disney one but you can pick any picture you want from my Facebook Fancy Arts page. Oh, right. <laughs> I think I need a drink after that. I think I was just talking too much. It's like, it's so much to remember because I haven't done a video like this for a while because some of my other videos I had to do in advance because I knew I'd be busy. So it's actually been a while since I've actually sat down and done a video. <laughs> I think that is everything. Um, oh. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed these videos and I'll see you next time. Later days.